Hey, hey everyone. I often get asked about metabolic set point and I'm sure some of you have heard that term and some of you have no idea what I'm talking about. So we are going to talk briefly about metabolic set point today. So if you haven't heard about it, you're about to learn a little bit. And if you do know a little bit about it, you'll know a little bit more. So, um, so hold tight here. We're going to talk about metabolic set point. So metabolic set point is the intersection where the body's pH balance, cellular communication, metabolic functions, and all the other systems in the body all sort of intersect to create a homeostasis or a balance where good metabolic action happens. In an ideal situation, that helps us to monitor our weight balance without a whole lot of um, effort, so to speak, because everything is in check. And so the things that can alter this metabolic set point or that great homeostasis or balance in our metabolism are things like eating ultra processed foods. So when we eat ultra processed foods that are like fast foods or um, foods that come in a package and have a lot of added sugar, these foods create instability among our enzymes, and this leads to an imbalance in the metabolic set point where weight gain can ensue and happen a whole lot easier. So conversely, when we're eating foods that are whole or unprocessed the majority of the time, which are like single ingredient foods like bananas or artichokes or carrots or apples or um, edamame or beans or grains, whatever that is, as long as they're not processed foods, that allows our body's enzymes to work the way that they should, and the body is better able to find that homeostatic point, and it's easier to manage weight because that metabolic um, process is happening without much effort, so to speak. So to basically wrap things up here in a nutshell, the metabolic set point is where the body is the most comfortable and all systems are operating at an optimal level. And the way that we create that and find that balance is by eating foods that are not processed. When we eat foods that are unprocessed whole foods, our body is better able to find that balance and that creates better um, systems for weight management and allows your body to operate in the way that it's designed to. So we can determine somewhat that metabolic set point by what we put in our body. And another thing that can impact metabolic set point is yo-yo dieting. So the research clearly shows that people that do diets where they gain and lose and gain and lose over the years, they inadvertently lower their metabolic set point. And you can certainly bring that back up by getting good health and nutrition back on board, but that does take a little bit of time when you've done some damage to that metabolic rate. So I hope that um, gives you a little bit of insight into metabolic health and the metabolic set point. And as always, if you have a question that you want me to review, or if you have something that you want me to talk about, you can send me an email here at bonnie at cravenourishment.com and I look forward to hearing from you. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.